This is Catalpa. Catalpa has been our home for the past three years. Catalpa is a Wilfo Kell ferro cement boat. She is 45 foot and takes us places we can only dream of. This video we are taking you aboard. Good morning everybody. We thought we'd give you a, a little tour of Catalpa. Obviously I'm sitting in the helm at the moment. We come around here. We've got our main GPS unit, Simrad. We've got our backup one which is also our radar. We have our wind instrument, bilge, uh, manual bilge. We store our dive tanks here. Um, also got our fuel down here which we use for our dive compressor generator and tender. Um, we've got 80 litres which is not a lot but we don't really like storing um, too much fuel on the boat. Uh, we've also got, this is where our showering takes place, here's our shower, so that's about it for there. Oh yeah, we've got our autopilot, which I missed there, um, which is just the best thing ever. Um, and our VHF radio outside too. Our little 2 kVA generator, which is only just, just holding in, a little kip -or. Um, soon going to be a little Honda, sooner than later, hopefully it doesn't break down. What else we got here? This board, um, that's really good, we found that washed up on the beach as we said in one of our episodes, so it's good size for all the pelagic fish, mackerel tuna and all that sort of stuff, that's brilliant. Um, we'll have a little barbecue here, we've got our two, uh, what are they, nine kilo gas bottles externally, which we're just about run out. We usually get about um, two to three months out of a bottle. So these are our davits that we um, put on before we left. Absolutely brilliant. Um, as we generally pull the um, boat out of the water every night anyway, it just makes it so easy. And they're nice and high. We did actually look at the only ones at one stage were really low davits. And we're so glad we didn't get them because like when you're sailing and it gets rough, you're going right down. So they worked out really well. Um, bit of a rod rack here. Put the rods, gaff, spears, whatnot up here. Our solar panels. Um, yeah, 520 of solar and a 660 amp hour battery bank which is for us because we're running um two compressors so we've got a fridge and a freezer and all of our computers and photography gear and whatnot so it's only just just hanging in there a little bit more solar or wind generator or a little bit bigger bank or something's missing but it, it does us for now um what else we got here a couple of rod holders not too much else here that's about it for this little spot Oh, Malira? That's where Malira lives. And a hula hoop. We've got a spare anchor on the side there. Just a wee little one. Yeah. And this is our little, our little sitting area. Like a center, like a center cockpit. It's a center setup. cockpit, but it's not the cockpit. <laughs> yeah, it's a bit of a weird, odd setup. But... We mostly do sit in there when we're doing watches because Lee sets up the um, iPad so it. it shows what's on the GPS yeah, so anyway. So we've got a second display up there which displays obviously yeah, what the head unit yeah. does. It's um, not in there now. So yeah it's a cosy little spot. It originally was all covered in but it was rotten at the time so we just chopped that off and yeah. that's how it is. Made it more practical. Yeah. We've got our cover on where we usually set our cover up if we're going to be anywhere. Yeah. For longer than a couple of days. And you can feel the heat in that, especially oh, like in Asia. It makes the boat so it's much cooler. So much cooler having a little bit of shade. Like we won't set it up when we're in an area where if we need to pull anchor and get rolling quick. But um, it only take, here, doesn't take long. There's our winches. They're all just standard winches. No self tailors at all on the boat, which would probably be a lot handier, especially with the kids and that. And make it a, <laughs> be a little bit handier. A lot easier. But anyway, that's what we got. Died. And I have uh, one plant's died. Didn't like the tropics, but aloe vera is powering. <laughs> so we'll go 
up to the front. There's our hatch. This is our dive compressor. What kind of dive compressor we got there, Captain? Well, um, this is a cultry. From what I gather, there's two main ones. This is a cultry, and you've got your bower. I think the bowers are a little bit better, but at the time we were looking, um, they're more this expensive. One, this one popped up at the right price for us, so. But the bowers, I think, if anyone's looking, yeah, bowers are better, but they're double the price to a yeah. cult tree, and we've had no dramas with our cult tree. Yeah, there's a lot of little bits and pieces that always come and loose that we seem to have got through now. That, um, yeah, that's as long a, as the guy's operating and knows what he's doing, you'll be sweet. Yeah, uh, we've actually changed the. Um, filtration system a little bit so we've made our, um, our we can actually pack our own filters now we've had a stainless steel repackable filter made for us um, what's his name TFM engineering I think we might do an episode on that because yeah. a lot of people are interested in our, our um, compressor but he's really good and we, yeah we'll put a link for this guy below um, he's in Australia I think it's Melbourne and he's just got all the little bits and pieces for all this sort of gear and he's really helpful he'll tell you what you're doing yep. what you need everything else yeah you got but that yeah. thing off him too what's that thing oh uh, just instead of bleeding out the the um, the water so every 10 to 15 minutes from the um, condensation with the separator here you can just bleed it into that instead of all over the deck oh yeah that sounds a bit better doesn't it Look but at anyway that. that's that so that's how we can dive everywhere we go little honda motor there first pull every time so that's what our generator will be next <laughs> first pull hopefully every time that's that that's that next cap in front of it we've got our life raft hopefully we don't need that hopefully we don't need it but it's there it's there if we do everyone asks what's in the blue box <laughs> no it's uh, all our dive gear um, all our bcds and weights and whatever we need to go diving with uh, it does get pretty with. hot so we tend to put our uh, mask and regulators uh, down below yeah they're all under our bed but the big bulky stuff's in here spare tank we have our fuel. fuel. We should probably get a cover made. So we've got 400 litres below. So we've got two 200 litre bladders. So, plus our jerry, so. What's we got? We've got a spare anchor there. Oh yeah, we've got a spare anchor. Ready to go, just Never throw it over. It, but... <laughs> we've got our anchor winch. It's got our... the wrong chain on it. <laughs> yeah, we need some proper chain. It's actually, we've got a short link and it's a really old. Um, Supposed to Windless, have a long which link. is should have just a standard link. So it's, um, we only it just skips. found this out. We were yeah, we, in Tomia when we worked that out. It, or skips, worked it, out. it skips a lot. I was actually playing around with a few meters of uh, standard link chain that I've got, and it fits in there perfectly. So we're going to have to change that out at some stage. Yeah. Anyway. How much anchor chain have we got in our locker, lover? Oh, I think we've got about 80, 85 meters. Um, and road attached to that which I don't like and we haven't used but it's there if we do need it which takes us to about hundred and thirty meters with the road we got some fenders and this hammock when we are in dive locations we, just we put all, all our stuff, that all we stuff in there don't want to blow off the deck unless we're somewhere dodgy we don't do that we got our um, just before we left all our rigging uh, we replaced all that um, we did all that ourselves, so it was a pretty easy little job. Pretty easy. <laughs> and for peace of mind, some of the blows and storms and that that we've actually been through. Oh, we're so glad we did that. We're again. so glad we've done it. Yeah. Um, we got a new sail bag done when we got our cover made as well. And attached some lazy jacks onto it. Yeah, got Nothing lazy fancy, jacks. fancy, just a few rings and. That again, uh, tied so it all good, up. so easy with that bag. It's amazing. With the tender, um, our tender's 3.4 meters. Um, it's a rib, rigid inflatable, it's got an aluminium floor. Um, size wise for us, it'd be, it's just on the borderline, uh, both boat and motor. I wouldn't go under in size, we've got a 15 horsepower Yamaha. Little things we made before we left, um, we got these made in cans. cans. 
a little bit of security slash um, fly screen for the mosquitoes which we haven't encountered any mosquito issues yet but it's there if we need it so this can be used as two things so overnight just for safety um, security wise we can either lock this from the outside if we go ashore or from the inside we've got another two bolts that go through and we can lock it up so overnight we don't have to wake up with someone in our face so we've also installed these over our two main hatches um, and that's brilliant can sleep easy or someone could break through if they wanted to but they're gonna make a lot of noise and that's all we need does the job that's it that's a tour of the top side of Catalpa that's the top that's the top then so we'll take you down below I'm gonna show you inside Catalpa let's go the aft cabin that's our bedroom so come on You turn this fan off because it's really loud. This is our bed. Underneath the bed, we've got heaps of storage and we store our dive gear. Um, heaps of random stuff that doesn't fit anywhere else, pretty much, but mostly dive gear. So our fins and our masks and stuff we don't want stored in the box above, we put under here. And also our water maker is under the bed. And all over here is jam packed with stuff I'm not gonna open it because I hopefully can't. I think there's wetsuits and towels and um, spare sheets, linen, all that kind of fun stuff. Um, this is our cupboard. Oh that is so neat and tidy and that is not me. Uh, usually all my clothes are just shoved in there but my beautiful Bella folded and arranged and got rid of all the clothes that I don't wear. So I'm actually the messy one on the boat. And I just, I can live with like, when if I find something, I like pull all my clothes out on the floor and then I push them all back in there when I'm finished. But Lee and Bella can't handle it. So <laughs> Bella always comes in and cleans me because she's an angel. Um, that's enough there. And what else is in our room? Nothing. That's it. It's a bedroom. Come this way. Oh, hi guys. I was just uh, doing some navigation on our navigational computer. Oh, I'm sitting at the navigational desk. That's right. So I'll just show you around. This is our navigation desk. So uh, this is our switchboard with all our switchy thingy roos. Um, it's our bilge pump that stays on now. Doesn't switch off ever. This is where we start our motor. The iPad so it stays here because there's charging ports here so it can stay there um, we link it to the head unit and then we can see where we're going so HF radio we don't use it a lot but we have used it when we're pretty remote and we don't have any other options until we had an Iridium Go so now we've got a satellite phone um, and this allows us to get weather wherever we are in the world um, this is our VHF enjoyable that's our bilge <laughs> so that's actually pumping water out of our bilge as we speak that's our VHF radio so when we're coming into a port we say uh, this is Catal Bart over copy ah, AIS this is a AIS Vespa unit it's a wireless unit and this is the little antenna splitter thingamajiggy we have a printer aboard Catalpa which is so so handy it just makes everything easy when you're checking in and out of countries like I said, this is our computer for navigation. Um, so if we, Lee is mastering OpenCPN at the moment and he's actually worked out how to overlay. So it's fantastic. So we're about to head to Raja Ampat. We definitely need this all going. Um, that is everything here, I think. Underneath the desk is, there's just some things that are uh, in containers because Lee's working on the boat at the moment doing things so he just puts all his stuff there while that happens underneath is more storage and we store beer and alcohol our freezer which is 40 litres in there uh, over here we have our fridge and it's a big chest fridge which I love can have a look in here not very much. store all our stuff in containers so we've got our rice and flowers and biscuits and anything else like that uh, 
Under here is the compressor for the fridge. And then under all these chairs here, um, that side down where Bella is, is our batteries. So they're big and heavy and they take up lots of room. Behind the batteries we've got heaps of little lockers and in these lockers we store food. And this one is all our dehydrated veggies that we got from Australia, sent over and some dehydrated mints. Thanks mummy. And um, so there's three or four along there so we just store food. Up in here the same, we've usually I put bottles and sauces and things up there. That's what lives in there. This is our table where we eat our food. We have a first aid kit that is just candy ready to go. It's all going to fall out when I open it. Um, so just stuff that we need regularly. Not, not really regularly but if we need someone cuts themselves. That is there. And then underneath the desk where I said there was other storage is our other part of our first aid kit which has um, which has like suture kit, antibiotics, tablets of some sort, all the things that you need <laughs> which we don't use very regularly so it lives underneath the, the desk. This is my kitchen where I spend lots of time <laughs> and yes it's small but it does the job so um, we have all our plates and things up in here and the knives. Everything in a boat has to be stored somewhere because when you're sailing the boat goes like this, right? So all those land lovers out there, everything moves. So if you've got to have a place for everything, so you jam stuff in places. This is where I'm coming to, our little hammocks that Lee made me. If there's stuff that's going to fly around, I just shove it in here so that it doesn't go flying. Um, so yeah, it's pretty self-explanatory. This is our oven. It's a gas oven. And it's not very big. And it's very hot, but it does the job. And we have three burners. Again, it's a gas stove, um, which we're having a little bit of trouble with at the moment because if you come to Indonesia, they don't have the same gas fittings, but we'll, there'll be more on that in another video. Um, we have this thing which blocks it off so that means that the gas is open and flowing and then that shuts it off so there's no gas in the boat um, and after I cook, after we do anything, I'm pretty anal about turning that off and you'll notice that we have lots of taps on our sink and they're all for different things so this one uh, is actually hooked up to the water maker so when we run our water maker or the water um, before it goes into our tank, we run it through here first so we don't get any salty water or we check it before we actually fill our tanks. This is straight from our tanks, so that's straight out of the tank. This is purified, so it goes through a filter first. And this one is our pump. So if the electric pump which this one is connected to runs out or stops, runs out, breaks, <laughs> um, then we can pump our water. So we still aren't going to be stuck for no water. Um, but that's why we have so many taps. If you're wondering. This is a yoga maker. It's only little but it's fantastic. And there's our rubbish bin. Oh, we used to work washing a bucket. Okay, I'll show you our old washing machine. One of these buckets under here was our washing machine. Until we got this. Ta-da! So this is our washing machine and we hook this up to the tap. Here, that goes on the end of the tap, and you fill when there's no dirty clothes in there, it's all our dirty clothes, but you fill it up with your water, um, and you put your soap in there, and then you turn this switch, and that goes for 15 minutes, and it washes. And then in here is like the, the um, spin side, so you put it all in there, and you can rinse. You run the water while you're spinning, and it rinses, and then you spin it so it's um, not so wet. Fantastic. It's so good. I thought, you know, well, it doesn't matter, I'm washing a bucket, so much easier. So. Right, let's head this way. So down here we have a spare bed slash lounge slash where I do uh, my editing usually. Then around here, ba -ba, we have our electrical things. This is our pure sine wave inverter. 700 watts and it charges all of our computers and our camera gear. Um, important if you are going to invest in a inverter 
look into it and get a pure sine wave one. Otherwise you can damage your equipment. Um, okay, so this is our solar panel regulator. This is our battery charger. Um, and what this allows us to do is run our generator. And so while I'm running our generator, it charges our batteries, which is really good when you don't have any sunny weather. So we're, we're here in um, monsoon, monsoonal times in Indonesia, so it's been really good because we haven't had sunshine every day. So when we don't have sunshine, we run the generator for a couple of hours and it tops our batteries up, which is brilliant. So we didn't always have that. And running our engine, you'd have to run the engine for like half a day to get exactly what that does in like an hour. So brilliant. I store all my kitchen appliances that don't fit in the kitchen. So I've got a blender, we've got little food processor and a mix master, a little vacuum cleaner that's 12 watt, uh, 12 volts. <laughs> and other stuff, we've got some school books that are all stacked up there. That gets kind of pretty organized when we're sailing so things don't fall down. Um, up in here, we have food. So more food storage, this all is food. And we usually put like packet food in. Underneath me is a 200 litre fuel tank um, bladder underneath this bed here um, and it is also on the other side. So we have 400 litres of fuel all up. Above me we have one of our spear guns um, and that is a very good tool to eat fish. <laughs> um, that's about all on this side so let's come in here. And see what's through here. Behind this curtain, what have we got going on? Hi guys, so this is my room. So I have all my teddies and all my swimmers and undies are there. My clothes are here. So I have all my things here. Some of over here I have all our friends from back home. And then I have a drawing that Taj did. There. Got some hats. Sweet, thanks baby. Let's go into Taj's room. First of all, before we get to Taj's room, we have the bathroom. So, there is a hatch. So I think it's nothing very exciting. Um, and then behind this door. Um, okay, so we have our toilet. It's an electrical toilet. And we have behind that cupboard. Is Lee's tools, so he has made a locker for his tools. And it's about all. all right, so that's the toilet, and then. So this is my room. I've got all my art supplies and my desk where I listen to music and draw on. And here we have the anchor locker. So behind here is my attach. Tell us about what's over here. And my books, and so what I have in these containers. Uh, Copic markers. They're alcohol based ink for drawing with. And, and I also have Posca pens, which are paint pens so you can draw on surfboards or bits of wood and they're pretty cool. Where's all your high school books? In a bag under my bed. So they're down here. Why are they stored so far away? Just for convenience. Drives <laughs> and computers. There's another one down here. There is in that blue bag. There is all our bags for shopping, and those other bags are winter clothes that nobody wears because we're in the tropics. We've got all our books up here on this side, and like Taj said, that is the anchor locker behind those doors and a bit of storage as well. So, like Taj said, here is his school bag, and he has all his books in here for um for his schoolwork. And then underneath, behind here, so underneath Taj's bed, uh, there's lots of storage. We've got spare, a spare sail um, on one side, and then on the other side, there is all our spare stuff for the motor. So we've got um, oil filters, spare, lots of things under that side. And then under the middle is our holding tank for the toilet. The front of Catalpa. I think we're done. Taj has some security screens on his hatches as well. I hope you've enjoyed the tour. If you've got any more questions or you want us to show anything else, just let us know. Um, if you like this video, give us a thumbs up. Yeah, give us a thumbs up.
give us a thumbs up and if you haven't already subscribed press the subscribe button and next to the subscribe next to the subscribe button is a little bell it's a notification if you find that you've subscribed but you're not knowing when we upload new videos then press the little bell and that will tell you when a new video is up. So that is Catalpa. This is our home. We hope you enjoyed coming aboard with us and we will see you next time. Bye. Bye. Oh, it all comes all thanks to you all. All oh, thanks to y'all.